Tesla worker killed in fiery crash may be first full self-driving fatality. Evidence suggests the advanced driver assistance system was engaged during a fatal crash that killed recruiter Hans von Ohain in 2022. Hans von Ohain and Eric Rossiter were on their way to play golf one afternoon in 2022 when von Ohain's Tesla suddenly swerved off Upper Bear Creek Road. The car's driver assistance software, full self-driving, was struggling to navigate the mountain curves, forcing von Ohain repeatedly to yank it back on course. The first time it happened, I was like, is that normal, recalled Rossiter, who described the five-mile drive on the outskirts of Denver as uncomfortable. And he was like, yeah, that happens every now and then. Hours later, on the way home, the Tesla Model 3 barreled into a tree and exploded in flames, killing Von O'Hain, a Tesla employee and devoted fan of CEO Elon Musk. Rossiter, who survived the crash, told emergency responders that Von O'Hain was using an autodrive feature on the Tesla that just ran straight off the road, according to a 911 dispatch recording obtained by the Washington Post. In a recent interview, Rossiter said he believes that Von O'Hain was using full self driving which, if true, would make his death the first known fatality involving Tesla's most advanced driver assistance technology. Tesla owners have long complained of occasionally erratic behavior by the car's software, including sudden braking, missed road markings, and crashes with parked emergency vehicles. Since federal regulators began requiring automakers to report crashes involving driver assistance systems in 2021, they have logged more than 900 in Tesla's. A post-analysis found at least 40 crashes that resulted in serious or fatal injuries. Most involved autopilot, which is designed for use on controlled access highways. No fatal crash has been definitively linked to the more sophisticated full self-driving, which is programmed to guide the car almost anywhere, from quiet suburban roads to busy city streets. Two years ago, a Tesla shareholder tweeted that there has not been one accident or injury involving full self-driving, to which Musk responded, Correct. But if that was accurate at the time, it no longer appears to be so. A Tesla driver who caused an eight car pileup with multiple injuries on the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge in 2022 told police he was using full self driving. And the post has linked the technology to at least two serious crashes, including the one that killed Von O'Hain. Von O'Hain and Rossiter had been drinking, and an autopsy found that Von O'Hain died with a blood alcohol level of 0.26, more than three times the legal limit a level of intoxication that would have hampered his ability to maintain control of the car, experts said. Still, an investigation by the Colorado State Patrol went beyond drunken driving, seeking to understand what role the Tesla software may have played in the crash. The question is critical as automakers race toward the promise of a driverless future. For private vehicles, that day is far from here. But critics say features like full self-driving already are giving drivers a false sense of confidence about taking their eyes off the road, or getting behind the wheel after drinking, evincing the dangers of letting consumers test and evolving. Experimental Technology on the Open Road Tesla did not respond to multiple requests for comment. The company, which has released full self-driving to about 400,000 customers, acknowledges that the software is in beta mode, meaning still in development, constantly learning, and being modified. But Tesla argues that its public release is an essential step toward reducing America's 40,000 annual road deaths. The more automation technology offered to support the driver, the safer the driver and other road users, Tesla tweeted in December. At the same time, Tesla user manuals cite a long list of conditions under which full self-driving may not function properly, including narrow roads with oncoming cars and curvy roads. The company has long maintained that drivers must control their cars and that Tesla is not liable for distracted or drunken driving. Multiple lawsuits have begun challenging the view that drivers are solely responsible when Tesla's software allegedly causes crashes or fails to prevent them. So far, Tesla has prevailed. Last fall, a California jury found Tesla not liable for a 2019 autopilot crash in which survivors said the car suddenly veered off the road. At least nine more cases are expected to go to trial this year. Von O'Hain's widow, Nora Bass, said she has been unable to find a lawyer willing to take his case to court because he was legally intoxicated. Nonetheless, she said, Tesla should take at least some responsibility for her husband's death. Regardless of how drunk Hans was, Musk has claimed that this car can drive itself and is essentially better than a human, Bass said. We were sold a false sense of security. Von O'Hain used full self-driving nearly every time he got behind the wheel, Bass said. 
placing him among legions of Tesla boosters heeding Musk's call to generate data and build the technology's mastery. While Base refused to use the feature herself, she said its unpredictability stressed her out. Her husband was so confident in all it promised that he even used it with their baby in the car. It was jerky, but we were like, that comes with the territory of new technology, Base said. We knew the technology had to learn, and we were willing to be part of that. Von O'Hain, a Marine veteran originally from Cincinnati, joined Tesla in late 2020 as a recruiter for engineers, attracted to the company's mission of bringing electric and autonomous vehicles to the masses, Base said. He also was inspired by the idea of working for Musk, she said, a brilliant man who built a company that promised to save lives and make the roadways safer. Von O'Hain had this opportunity to be part of a company that is working on insanely advanced technology, and we had always thought Elon Musk was interesting, Base said. Hans was so interested in brilliant minds. At the time, Tesla had just introduced full self-driving and would eventually release it to a wider group of owners who had been monitored by the carmaker and declared safe drivers. Like many Tesla employees, Von O'Hain received the feature, then a $10,000 option, free with his employee discount, according to Base and a purchase order reviewed by the Post. Though still in its beta phase, the technology is the difference between Tesla being worth a lot of money and being worth basically zero, Musk has said, noting his customers and investors, enthusiasm for a fully autonomous car. Many major automakers were developing advanced driver assistance technology, but Tesla was more aggressive in pushing sophisticated features out to an eager public. For years, Musk had preached the benefits of pursuing autonomous driving. In 2019, he predicted that it would one day be so reliable that drivers could go to sleep though. For now, Tesla's user agreement requires the driver to stay engaged and ready to take over from full self-driving at all times. In 2022, Tesla recalled more than 50,000 vehicles amid concerns that full self-driving caused the car to roll through stop signs without coming to a full halt. Even as Musk tweeted months later that Tesla had made full self-driving beta available to anyone in North America who bought it, complaints continued to pile up. Drivers reported that cars would stop short, blow through stop signs, or suddenly veer off the road when lane markings were unclear. We test as much as possible in simulation and with quality assurance, drivers, but reality is vastly more complex, Musk tweeted last spring about a new version of the software. Tesla employees would get it first, he said, with wider release to come as confidence grows.